Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the construction procedure for the combined footing that we designed in the example of combined footing design. Okay. So here, if you may have such kind of a site, this is just a sample. I made it on uh, ArchiCAD. Okay. So the first step will be just aligning uh, and setting out the location of the footing. And as per this setting out, you are going to uh, make an excavation uh, like this. Okay. So here you see that already we have done or we have executed the excavation so during during the uh, alignment or the setting out procedure you will uh, just uh, locate the locations of the corners of the footing pad so accordingly you will add some uh, space uh, for putting the formwork okay for the for the formwork panels here uh, let's assume that uh, some here 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 these locations is now the location of the uh, combined footing and accordingly we will put the lean concrete before placing the reinforcement and the spacers okay now you put the cement uh, the lean concrete now lean concrete is placed okay lean concrete generally maybe c5 up to c10 uh, uh, concrete with the uh, with the strength of maybe 5 to 10 megapascal capacity will be placed this will be useful to protect the reinforcement from corrosion or from this from con from the contact with the, the the soil beneath here okay uh, under here so after this you are asked to you, you will you will put the formwork as per the setting out uh, locations okay so here you have put uh, maybe the formwork can be from steel uh, uh, panels or it can be a plywood uh, formwork uh, so such kind of uh, look so you will correctly put here because we had in the example you had 2.85 meter here and 3.8 meter here okay so this will be how you will put the formwork now don't forget that you have here a working space here maybe 50 cent or maybe 40 whatever okay as per uh, as per your local uh, recommendations here here you don't don't for, forget that we have some space left here maybe uh, five cents so that you can put the formwork on it uh, uh, straight okay now after this you will provide you will put the spacers uh, below the reinforcement okay these spacers will be used to keep the con the clear concrete cover for the reinforcement okay now this clear cover or the uh, spacers will be provided like this with some spacing okay according as as appropriate so that the reinforcement will not have been if you ha if you put one spacer here and maybe the other here the reinforcement in between them may bend down and may touch may touch this uh, lean concrete okay so place please uh, you have to place these spacers uh, so that the reinforcement will be straight uh, horizontally okay now after this you you will uh, put you will provide the reinforcements okay the reinforcements the bottom reinforcements uh, after that the top reinforcements okay now we said that the reinforcement in the b direction is placed first okay so let me put the reinforcements in the b direction under the columns first now these are the 520 bars that we calculated okay under column two is here and under column one it's here okay so you provide it like this now the reinforcement here and here are the minimum reinforcement uh, that was 512 at 150 spacing so here you have the other reinforcement in the location where uh, the critical section is this one in the b direction so this one is 512 and this one is 512 this one is 520 and this one is 520 now once you put it like this you we can now provide the reinforcement in the l direction at the bottom okay okay so after uh providing the reinforcements in the shorter direction we will need to provide the reinforcement in the l direction so this is how we will provide it you remember that we calculated the reinforcement under the column 
uh, 1 and under column and 2. Under column and 1, it was 512, uh, center to center, or the spacing of uh, 150. And under column and 2, we had uh, 514, center to center, or with the spacing of 115. So we will have a lap here, around here, okay? Like you will see now. So this is the reinforcement under column and 1 in the L direction, okay? You will put it like this. Uh, you remember that we have to uh, provide here a lap length as per the code requires and we will provide the reinforcement in the L direction under the column and 2 like this like this okay so here you have a lap here okay the reinforcement will have a lap length here so this lap will be used to transfer the force or the reinforcement uh, the stress between these two reinforcements Okay, now the bottom reinforcement is now completed, okay? And we have the spacer uh, but, uh, below it and everything is, looks fine. Now we need to provide the top reinforcement like this. Well, the top reinforcement had uh, a minimum reinforcement of 512, uh, center to center, 115, 150 millimeter, both ways, in the shorter, in the B direction, as well as in the L direction, like this. So at the top, this green colored reinforcement is 512 uh, at a spacing of 150 uh, spacing okay the spacing of that much and now on the top of this i will provide reinforcement in the uh, b direction like this now here you can see that the reinforcement is provided as well as in the b directions let me go deep inside and show you here okay the reinforcement in the shorter direction in the b direction is at the bottom then you have the reinforcement in the longer in the l direction above it so that's why the effective depth for this reinforcement and this reinforcement is different similarly at the top the reinforcement in the l direction is below and the reinforcement at the b direction is above that so you have such kind of a layout of the reinforcement like this do not forget to provide uh, to place the column reinforcement uh, before just uh, finalizing this like this so the columns will be uh, will have reinforcement like this and this is column uh, this is column 1 and this is column 2 so like this we will provide the reinforcement after you finish this and check everything the alignment and everything finally you will cast the concrete and the final result may look like this after the concrete is casted before the formwork removal like this so after the concrete is uh, casted it will look like this the footing will have such kind of uh, shape uh, before the formwork is removed it will look like this and uh, maybe if we remove the formworks then finally you will have such kind of combined footing that has a thickness of uh, this much and maybe a length of this much and a width of this much the reinforcement of the column will uh, just show up like this and finally you will have to provide a formwork here and cast the columns later on after this one gets uh, uh, hardened or uh, has got uh, enough has cured okay so uh, this is how the combined footing uh, construction procedure will look like. I tried to uh, show you in the best way that I could. Maybe later on uh, we may show you in a better way. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please support our uh, efforts that we are providing you and with the uh, massive information that we are giving you. Thank you and subscribe to my channel. Like the video, share it with your friends. See you next time.